today to watch England take on France in the Women's 2023 Six Nations Grand Slam Decider. There's over 53,000 people scheduled to be here, a world record crowd for the women's game, and we're going to catch the reaction of some of the fans. Well, I found two parrots here, um, part of Noah's Ark, I'm told. Um, so you guys have come with a, with a group today? Yeah, so we're from Newbury Rugby Club, and we are celebrating today. There's about 30 of us um, that got on a, a coach or the Ark here. How big of an occasion is this for the women's game to play at Twickenham Stadium in front of almost you know, 60,000 people? It's amazing. It's an amazing day, amazing experience. Like almost, what is it, record selling, tickets sold. Honestly, it's doing such good things for the game. Go England! How big of an occasion is this for, for women's rugby to be at the home of English rugby and to have a crowd of over 53,000 people here today? I think it's absolutely amazing. I played rugby about 20 years ago. My daughter now plays rugby and these ladies are just inspiring a new generation to go out there and play rugby. Guys, who do you think is going to win today? Me. Really? What an amazing occasion this is for women's rugby. Are you a long-term supporter of the women's game or a new yeah. convert? No, I've uh, been coaching women for a long, long time. So, uh, Claudia McDonald's used to uh, be coach at Tumbridge Shadians. No problem. No. So, yeah. Wow. So, uh, yes, so, yes. And what a player she has turned out to Absolutely, be. Absolutely, yeah. And there's also uh, the Rachel Lacabura, who plays for Fiji now, yeah. who was at Saracens. Yes. Yeah, yeah. another Tumbridge Shadian. Oh, so, okay. yes, so, yeah, no, no, we're big supporters of it and we've coached it as a family. So, yeah, no, very... Amazing. And I mean, we went, We played Twick at Twickenham in 1988. Uh, we were a curtain raiser when it was the old stadium. And then after that, we never thought this day would come when the women had their own occasion. And it's absolutely fantastic. And this is the biggest crowd in the world ever for a women's yes. rugby Incredible. international. Amazing. And uh, how warm are you feeling? Uh, very warm. <laughs> it's a wrong choice. I, was, I thought it was meant to rain today, yeah. so I thought I'd be uh, laughing, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm cry <laughs> crying. Do you think the Red Roses can win today? Yeah. You do? And uh, who's your favourite England player? Do you have a favourite England player? Molly Packer. Oh, of course. She's the best player on the pitch. Well, certainly we've got the, we've got, we've got the weather, we've got the spectators, we've got the occasion. Why shouldn't we win? Big hand for England! They were marvellous! It's amazing. Yeah. Like, we've loved yeah. it here already. and We've only been here, like, what, an hour? Yeah, we've been here, like, Can't an hour. Can't wait to get in. <laughs> this is amazing. It is... Uh, what is it, the, the biggest crowd in the world. It's just amazing for women's rugby. And I think and the I competition think, yeah. on the rugby game as well exactly. is going to be, you know, be a good bloody game. Good Do you think England have it today or France? They could walk away with it? Nip and tuck, I think. You're going to miss Scarrett maybe for goal kicking and crucial, crucial points maybe to win the game. But uh, hopefully we'll nick it. But by a few. It won't be by many, I don't think. So. The fact they've sold almost 60,000 tickets yeah. is just a real testament to the people who've been before and now. And actually... Women's sport is there and here to stay. It's France, whether it's England, who cares? Do you know what? It's going to be a smashing yeah, game. Absolutely top professional level, and we're amazed to be here to watch yeah, it. Come on, England! Come on, yes! England. Thank you! beaten France they are the 2023 women's six nations Grand Slam champions it's their fifth title in a row with over 58,000 people inside Twickenham Stadium to watch them do it what a day for women's rugby we're now going to catch the reaction from the fans do you know what when I was a kid there was nothing like this and now now it's just amazing the, the the amount that the game has grown in the years that i've become an adult is phenomenal and i wish nothing more than the future generation coming up to play such a big part in rugby in the future it's amazing and i love it it's brilliant yeah we really enjoyed it we've come in from cumbria to watch the match yeah because our team are playing at twickenham on monday the work at Enzebras, yeah so we've made a weekend of it and we thought the roses are absolutely amazing and your outfits today just talk me through the gold top it's a, it's, rubbish it's a rubbish shirt, That's the is what it is. What... France came back in that second half. Yes. It's such a disappointment that they, didn't, they weren't there in the first, but how did yeah. you find the game? Yeah, it was a very nice game. First half was difficult for France, but second half, I really suspect that the ref could have owned us a bit. <laughs> yellow card some, some time for the English people, girls, so that we could have maybe been yeah. better. But it was good, it was nice, very good atmosphere. 
How did you find that game today? I thought it was a really close game the second half. Like, I think we got too comfortable from the first half. We played so well. And then in the second half, France just brought it up a level. The speed in their backs was incredible. The forwards have so much immense power. We just were like, oh, we've got this, and we didn't. But Yeah, it was on the edge of my seat and uh, a little bit worried because England fell asleep a bit. I enjoyed the first half. I was biting my knuckles a bit for the second half. Sadly, England haven't learned you cannot write the French off. So proud of what women's rugby has, um, where we are now. There you go. Amazing. Party atmosphere, post game. It's now fun time. <laughs> Enjoy your pints. Thank you. Thank you. I'm an older lady who plays women's rugby, but yeah, it's fantastic to watch these young girls go. Mid 50s. Oh, amazing! Absolutely electric. You know, the crowd was that that amazing. I got hit with the ball twice, the beach ball. The first half, I was wondering, like, what? How can we win a game if we are bad at the scrum? You know, but then somehow we got this the good substitute and stuff like that. So the game was crazy. I like the atmosphere. Like, honestly, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah it's it's poor. It? It's, it's it's stretchy. awful. Go on, just. It's like a dark it's, material. It's. Horrible to wear. And it's getting better and better and I firmly believe the time is going to come when all England matches, ladies matches, will be held at Twickenham. And we can sell out this stadium for the World Cup final in 2025. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes, please. It was absolutely, I almost cried maybe three, four times. It's your first it was just, game. It was the first ladies' game, and the, just the emotion of it was unreal. And I was like, this means so much to the up and coming players and the people who are playing now. It was unbelievable. It was just so inspiring. It was absolutely fantastic. I loved all of it. Yeah. Well, hopefully, this is a great advert. I mean, it's the biggest crowd that any uh, female team have played under. So, I mean, I. I'm glad I'm part of history at the moment and hopefully it progresses and carries on. Do you know what? Fantastic game, great atmosphere, Abbey RFC. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Abbey RFC! Oi, oi, oi! Yeah, yeah, all of my team are there, so we're all celebrating. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.